for the first part of, uh, of my career, I was enjoying that so much that I could not have a vision of the next thing. But after a moment, I just realized that how little or, or poor was could be the experience for the audience. I found that it was really important to bring sound to another level. I was always referring to old shows that I had seen when I was younger, with Pink Floyd, for example, where I could remember the emotions. And I said, we have to bring that. Uh, and we have to stop. We have, we have to stop to be invaded all the time by visuals, uh, effects, uh, and we have to bring sound at the same level. Of, uh, of experience for the audience and it will serve the artist, it will serve the promoter and it will serve the audience. I started working as a consultant in 2000, end of 2006 which ended having me uh, touring but also in between I would do uh, trainings, I would do development work and uh, so slowly, slowly, my time was divided between touring and also working for Ale Acoustics. In contrary, uh, it opened up so many more creative options for me. When we were doing that, there was many more people involved in the development from, within El Acoustics. from El Acoustics, but <coughs> but I didn't want to disturb them too much, I'd, 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 to distract them, mm. because at that time I had no idea, mm. again, if it was a correct or let's say rational approach. I didn't know whether we were exploring ideas, but I didn't know if it would work or not work. Every step is a challenge. Creating a good algorithm is, an, is a challenge. Making a nice sound design is a challenge. And making a whole project or a whole ecosystem is a challenge. But when you have that, it's not finished. It's the beginning of another challenge. And the challenge is how you will bring that to uh, the, the, the outside world. It started with France, actually, with uh, with uh, uh, jazz festival uh, uh, in Paris, where it was very surprising because no engineer was aware of what was go going on. So we had it was a festival with guests coming over, and these guests were coming from Europe, from America. They had never heard about Elisa and Sherif and. Uh, and actually, not only Sherry, there was J uh, Sherif and uh, one uh, mixing engineer who, who is very uh, friendly with us, Dave Bracey from uh, Dave Bracey is the Adele's uh, engineer, had helped uh, to assist uh, engineers to use Elisa in Paris, and uh, and there were people of different jazz people coming, Archie Shep, uh, uh, many, many bands are, were coming and they were just discovering Elisa for the first time and mixing in multi-channel for the first time of their life. When I speak or when I demonstrate this system to sound engineers uh, and to system designers, it feels like Oh, they definitely know that it's the right thing to do, but they have always been coming to terms with what they had to cope with. So when you tell them, okay, you've been putting the speakers on the sides of the stage because you weren't allowed to put them where they need to be for a natural performance, yeah, absolutely, but you know, that's what we have to do to free the space for scenery, for lighting, for video, whatever. It is something that has been adopted uh, and will have to slowly uh, phase out and this will become the future. We felt that it would be very useful for engineers who have lots of things to do to ease their, uh, their work by integrating the tools, the tools control, into the desk. 
and teach them to work in a different manner with a mixing desk. We have a lot of people, mixing engineers, who are very connected to Anacoustics and Digico, and this, this has supported the concept of integration. I remember when James Garden uh, uh, met with us, he said, well, you know, I don't know, I've, I haven't decided anything, and uh, it it's comes naturally, and everybody is excited to do it as well, so let's do it. The way Elisa will be promoted by promoters is belongs to them. Yeah. Okay, I've seen, I've discussed uh, some concept with uh, uh, artists recently who said we will promote Elisa in combination to what my artist is doing, and we will put that as as a premium because we want to bring that uh, to that. I think that's good to do that, but it will only last for a period of time, I guess, because when the solution will become a standard, then uh, it will not be unique anymore. That will yeah. become a, a It's also promoted in that way because not only these people will make the choice of Elisa, but we are also making the choice of the artist. The people are always overwhelmed of the quality because it's clear and it's like they hear all the nuances and the separation in the performance with everything not needing to be like totally compressed or EQ to make space for all the instruments. So they experience it for the first time in a different way and uh, they always express their appreciation and that uh, they weren't expecting something like that. Mm -hmm.